हेलो एवरीवन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सुखदेव सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी बी एन ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस जयपुर टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट रामाचंद्रन प्लॉट व्हाट इज रामाचंद्रन प्लॉट दिस प्लॉट इज बिटवीन द डाइहाइड्रल एंगल्स फाइ एंड साई व्हाट इज फाइ डाइहाइड्रल एंगल व्हाट इज साई डाइहाइड्रल एंगल्स फाइ एंगल इज एक्चुअली द रोटेशन अराउंड the nc alpha bond it is the angle between the planes between two planes it is the angle between these two planes this plane and this plane the phi angle what is the psi angle psi angle is the rotation around the c alpha c bond psi angle is the angle between these two planes okay so Ramachandran plot is the plot between the phi and psi. Phi on the x-axis and psi on the y-axis. Ramachandran plot actually tells about tells us about tell us tells us about the allowed disallowed regions of atomic of atomic particles in the polypeptide chains due to their rotation. Actually. the protein actually the dynamic structure due to the rotations of their constitutive atomic particles atomic particles in the polypeptide chain rotate around the bonds the peptide bond the rotation around the peptide bond is restricted actually why because the peptide bond has has little bit pi bond character little bit double bond character so rotation is restricted to only to the 1 180 degrees 0 to 180 degrees 0 or 180 degrees celsius peptide bond conformation atomic arrangements around the peptide bond will be cis or trans okay the rotation around the peptide bond will be restricted rotation around the peptide bond is considered the the angle omega angle and the angle and the rotation around the adjacent atoms or adjacent bonds around the nc alpha bond is considered the phi and around the c alpha c rotation is considered the psi so ramachandran plot tells us actually about the rotations where the rotations are allowed and where they are not allowed so this that's that's what ramachandran plot looks like <coughs> ramachandran plot tells us about the secondary structures rotations where the pro, uh, secondary structures in a polypeptide will be allowed or disallowed secondary structures are of are several kinds alpha helix beta turns beta strands beta sheets turns loops these are the secondary structures primary structures achieves the secondary structures due to their due to hydrogen bonding pattern non covalent interactions so alpha helix lie in this region ramachandran plot initially if i will talk if from the start i will talk if i will talk about ramachandran plot is actually divided into four quadrants you can consider this quadrant is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant in first quadrant both angles are negative this is actually the negative phi okay 
this is positive phi this is negative phi this is negative psi and this is positive psi okay so in first quadrant both angles are negative second quadrant phi is negative but psi is positive third quadrant both angles are positive fourth quadrant psi is negative there okay <clears throat> alpha helix lie right ended alpha helix positions in this region in ramachandran plot in this region this is alpha helix most allowed region okay these regions which i dashed these regions these are most allowed regions i am abbreviating by this by most allowed region by m a r this dotted region i am dotting this is actually the allowed region i am naming this i am naming this allowed region i will talk about a little bit about later so right ended alpha helix region lies in this region in the negative phi and psi is also negative there this is the range of phi for the right and right and alpha helix and this is the psi okay left ended alpha left ended helix lie in this third quadrant where both are both angles are positives this is the range of phi and this is the psi range okay left ended alpha helix lie in this region okay beta sheets lie in this regions position in this regions Be these are beta sheets actually there are several types of beta sheets this i draw this is twisted beta sheet twisted beta sheet i am denoted it by t t twisted beta sheet okay this region is for parallel beta sheet p t twisted beta sheet p i am denoting it by parallel beta sheet a this region is for anti parallel beta sheet and this c i am denoting this by collagen triple helix collagen this region is collagen triple helix okay this region is for beta sheet this region is for alpha helix and this region is for left ended helices these are dashed regions are most allowed regions mar okay these these structures these secondary structures in these secondary structures atomic particles can rotate about you know, atomic particles are a little bit more flex flexible to some uh, up to some limit they can rotate more about so they they are flexible up to this region this region they are flexible about this region phi phi region can be extended up to this region the the, the dotted region i am drawing it i am naming it as a allowed region ar allowed region okay by allowed region i mean that rotations the dihedral angles or the atomic particles are little bit more flexible up to some limit at that at those um, rotations steric hindrance will not be there okay so these are most allowed regions these are allowed regions and this white blank region this white blank region is disallowed region this is disallowed region dar i am representing it i am denoting it dar disallowed region. no poly no secondary structure will not be there no poly secondary structure will allowed will in these regions secondary structures helices and beta sheets are allowed 
only in these reasons in Ramachandran plot. Actually, these these angles are these are divided like this 60, 120 and 180 minus the minus 120 angles I mean in the rotation is around in negative directions. Suppose this joint is if I denoting it the rotation I will demonstrate I can demonstrate that uh, this joint is um, rotation around peptide bond this joint is uh, nitrogen and this joint is my um, carbon the CO carboxyl carbon if these are connected by peptide bond. So, the rotation around they the, the rotation around peptide bond will be in the trans conformations trans conformation because streak hindrance will be nil there streak hindrance will not be there in this cis positions streak hindrance will not there so no atomic particles atomic groups will not prefer this cis conformation they will prefer the trans conformation because they will be stable in this conformation the maximally stable and the least energy will be there in the polypeptide. So, that is what Ramachandran plot is, it is if I will recap if I will review the Ramachandran plot again this plot is divided into four quadrants secondary structures lie in these positions or flight and alpha leaks lie in this region beta sheets lie in this region twisted beta sheet parallel beta sheet anti parallel beta sheet collagen triple helix is there beta sheets region is this left and right helix region and this left regions these remaining this, this remaining region is disallowed regions for the secondary structures of polypeptides this ramachandran plot was discovered by our indian Renaud scientist Ramachandran. So, that is what Ramachandran plot is for every protein structure for every protein we have to conclude the Ramachandran plot of that protein we will purify that protein we will crystallize that protein we will conclude the structure of that protein and additionally we have to conclude the phi and psi dihedral angles of the constitutive atomic particles of that protein. So, Ramachandran plot is a landmark discovery by our Indian scientist Ramachandran. It was actually not discovered by the alone Ramachandran alone, I think there was group uh, one another scientist I I remember Ramakrishnan is also was also there one another scientist was also there I am not uh, recalling I am not remembering this. So, that is what Ramachandran plot uh, was is um, from my side. So, thank you very much if you like the video like it share it subscribe the channel thank you very much.